Gopala Astrology Channel where the science meets astrology for common man's understanding. Subscribe and stay tuned to this channel for continued astrological updates. Hello, welcome to Gopala Astrology Channel. Today it's going to be another interesting video about the temporary transit of planet Jupiter from Aquarius to Capricorn and this is going to be a very temporary shift for about 65 days and uh, before the Jupiter goes back to Aquarius okay so it's a very short span of time but I would I thought I should make a video on it because it has got certain impact uh, as it go as it is going to its Nietzsche's thonum or uh, it's known as the debilitation sign for Jupiter and the original owner of that Capricorn Saturn is already placed there so he's going to get conjunct with Saturn and it is also going to cause what is known as Nietzsche Bhanga Raj Yoga. That means even though the Jupiter is supposed to get debilitated and it's going to give bad results, but Saturn is going to counteract on that because the owner of that house is sitting there and certainly there will be some benefits. So I'm going to be discussing one by one uh, about uh, each of the zodiac signs uh, for their um, uh, for their results. Uh, please do understand that you should always take the reference of both Lagna, the Ascendant, as well as the Moon sign for these transit results. And always, always I warn all my uh, clients that the Gochar Padam or the transit results, what I'm making today, it's only 25%. Okay, it's only 25%. The rest of the 50% is uh, sorry 75 percent is all coming from your dasha bhuktis as long as your planetary time period which are known as dashas and bhuktis are good then this this transit results are going to play a very very small role okay so always focus on your dasha bhukti time period your main horoscope chart is very very important but do take this as a small guideline and it helps you to navigate around uh, uh, around uh, the good times and bad times easily in life whenever we see the transit especially the jupiter transit and saturn transit plays a vital role okay all right let's go to the actual video as I mentioned clearly, uh, the timings for this retrograde moment of Jupiter is from 15th of September to the 20th of September. So in this time frame, it is making this shift. All right. So what exactly is the shift that I'm talking about? It's a retrograde or reverse motion. So before we understand the, re the rest of the video, we must be very, very clear what exactly is the retrograde motion of any planet. It's not only Jupiter, it can happen to Mercury, Mars, Venus, Saturn. Okay, especially the slow moving planets retrograde is, is quite significant because it can last up to four to five months. Okay, let us understand this slide very carefully. Imagine the blue ball here is the Earth. This is the Earth's orbit and let's track Mars, for example. It can be Jupiter, it can be Saturn. Okay, for convenience, I have taken the next planet, which is very next to Earth. All right, so what is happening here? So whenever you see the movement of the Earth is there, when you are an observer from Earth, you will see that apparently the Mars at this point of time is tending to go slowly in a reverse direction and then it is going to come back to the proper way. So uh, if you really uh, understand slowly step by step what is happening here, Earth is going like this, the Mars will take a stationary point and then it is appearing to go retrograde. It has a stationary point again before it starts becoming direct. That means a kind of a loop is formed there and this reverse motion which is an apparent motion as absorbed, uh, observed from planet Earth is actually known as retrograde or in Sanskrit we call it as Vakri Gati of a planet. So it can happen but literally physically on the planet itself we will not have any kind of retrograde motion. It's just an illusion. Please, please do not mistake about retrograde. It is just an illusion when you are observing from planet Earth. But since we, live, we are the living entities, we live on planet Earth and observe the planets and their results from Earth's point of view. So it's a geocentric system. We will always consider retrograde motion of planets as, as a critical one. So maybe I will make a detailed video about uh, the retrograde motion 
Children of Planets uh, some other time if you have if you guys have more questions but for uh, for now please understand retrograde is a very very illusionary concept wherein we apparently see that the planet goes in a reverse way for a while and then it comes back so why it is so significant for today's video is this let's understand what is happening to Jupiter I have already mentioned the dates Jupiter starts back from this Aquarius into Capricorn on the 15th of September it's already retrograde right as we speak I'm making this video on the 5th of September and we are already seeing that Jupiter has already got into retrograde movement in Aquarius and then it is getting into Capricorn on the 15th so further it seeps inside the Capricorn which is the nature Rashi for it which is the Debilitation point of Jupiter, there will be some financial crisis in the world. The Jupiter is the Karaka for finance and whenever it comes to Capricorn, it gets debilitated and we will see some financial crisis in the world. Okay, that is for sure. But in this um, time, the Saturn, the owner of the house is already there. So it's going to nullify it and we call it as Nietzsche Bhanga Raji Yoga. So it's uh, ill effect of um, uh, entering the Capricorn is nullified to a great extent by Saturn. We should thank Saturn this time. All right. So now, so October the 18th, the retrograde movement, the reverse movement of Jupiter is going to stop there. And then it starts moving forward direction, as I showed you in the in the loop formation. Right, it's going to go in the front direction, and then on the 20th of November, we will have a big relief that it enters Aquarius back. Okay, so that, that's the moment. So for this temporary shift, what are the results that we can see? Uh, I'm going to show in the coming slides. So everybody, all the Rashi people are now getting curious now. Aries people are curious and Taurus and so on and so forth. So, but before I want to explain this Aries uh, moon sign and Lagna, what you need to understand? See, the Aries Lagna, for example, what is Lagna? Lagna is all about physical things that is happening to you. So, whatever predictions I'm going to give you now is on the physical level. Okay, if you consider the moon sign of Aries, then it's on all happening on our thought process okay so moon is all about the thought process the lagna or the ascendant is the physical thing that is happening to you so i always give 50 50 weightage on the transit moment so whoever is born in the mesha rashi or the aries moon sign as well as aries lagna has to see this portion of the video okay so for you guys it's happening in the 10th house this capricorn is the 10th house that's what i have written here so whenever the jupiter goes to the 10th house for aries it affects the, the job okay the work it's also known as karma sthanam and uh, jupiter's placement here will create some confusions and things like that in job okay and please understand the drishti of jupiter always goes to the second house fourth house and then the sixth house which is good so you will be able to make some savings you will have a better chances of buying some properties the real estate part is going to improve and then sixth house is all about loans and debts so when jupiter's drifty goes there we say that that means um, the the loans and other financial losses can be brought into some control even the health gets better so that's my analysis on uh, aries ascendant and Aries Lagna. So the summary is given over here. Uh, confusions can happen in the workplace. That's what is being there. And definitely, definitely after the 20th of November, everything looks green for you guys. You are going to have the very good influence of Jupiter going back to the 11th house. It's something like you are using a cell phone in a, in a forest area. You are not getting signal. Once it becomes 20th number, you get connected to the tower. The Jupiter's blessing is going to be there and you are getting back you know, uh, in, uh, to the wealth and you will make some profits. If you are a businessman, definitely you are going to make profits. If you are in the workforce, your job gets stabilized. Your boss will start understanding you because now you got connected from the Guru. So in Tamil we say Guru Parvei. Whenever the Guru Parvei is there, most of the things can be cleared. So wait for Aries Moon Sign and Aries Ascendant. Wait for 20th of November, guys. Till then, be very cautious. If at all you are a Hindu, practicing Hindu in India, please 
the saffron tilak on your forehead and pray for uh, lord murugan all right now moving further let's go to the taurus taurus is are the bull signs right so for them the transit is happening as a blessing because the jupiter goes to the ninth house for them it's the bhagya sthanam so there will be definitely some financial results and improvement of the health it also aspects the third house of communication it also aspects the fifth house of children so the children starts getting better in their studies they start listening to the parents and things like that so uh, in a summary definitely there will be some short trips available for them to go through until the november 20th i'm talking about this 65 days of small transit okay and there may be some kind of a change in the workplace the moment the jupiter shifts to the 10th house for you guys after the 20th of november so it's a mixed results and if you, if at all you are practicing hindu again i'm saying offer foot brahmins and the needy on the thursdays right so in in other words everybody can uh, you know donate some kind of a food and uh, food packets for the needy people don't give money always offer some food items so that you satisfy the hunger of people okay that can give a very good remedy if at all you are belonging to taurus ascendant or the taurus moon sign okay moving further let's see how gemini guys are going to do during this transit so from the gemini moon sign or the lagnam the transit is happening very badly in the 8th house the 8th house is known as astamasthanam so this is not a very good transit for this 65 days i would really request gemini guys to be very very cautious mithuna rashi or gemini uh, lagnam of course must be very very cautious for these um, uh, 65 days because of some health confusions will be there if at all you are you are in mid 40s and early 50s please do check up your uh, glucose and hba1c levels and stuff like that and make sure you see the health is taken care and at the same time jupiter goes and sees your 12th house of vias tharam right so that is also there some un- uncalled expenses can happen in a way it it aspects your second house which is good jupiter's aspect is good but it is eighth aspect eighth house staying and then aspecting from there so that may not be very beneficial to uh, uh, real estate as well please do not purchase any vehicles or cars or anything in this 65 days avoid this two months you know so that's all is given here there may be some money problems for many ascendant people okay so that's it so if you are a practicing hindu again i'm advising you guys to go around the banyan trees and offer some channa dal and things like that lentil to the temple there all right and then moving further it is cancer or karkataka rashi right so for you guys jupiter is coming right into the 7th house which is not bad at all definitely it's going to be a better transit for this 65 days uh, from your perspective basically and at the same time it sees the labasthanam guru parve is going to be on the labasthanam which is excellent and it sees your own lagnam the re- relationship this can get better and better and it also sees the house of communication you are able to communicate better in the house as well as in the boss place uh, you know and then uh, there will be of course some success in business whenever there is a good communication channel that establishes the businesses gets better the love relationship will be, will be better all right that's what i have been summarizing here but please 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 take note that after 20th of november the jupiter gets back to aquarius and you will be very 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 cautious on your health my friends you cannot avoid your um, visits to the doctor because the 8th house jupiter will continue as you have been doing that presently you know so not not all jupiterian i mean cancerians are very healthy now because of the 8th house placement of jupiter all right so i would like to uh, remind you that after 20th november just be cautious on your on your uh, diet and also keep exercising keep your health in a tip top condition next uh, this, the sign sign is for leo and for leo guys the transit of jupiter is happening on the 6th house of day to day routine activities and things like that so 6th house transit is is not bad not good uh, especially for uh, jupiter okay 
and Jupiter's Drishti is on the 10th house of work, which is not bad. It is good. It's a good aspect for a Jupiter sitting in the 6th house of routine. So day-to-day -day routine jobs can get better and better. And sitting in the 6th house, Jupiter also aspects the 12th house of um, uh, expenses, uncalled expenses. There may be some control here. Okay, and then Jupiter's aspect goes to the second house and um, there will be, of course, some expenses uh, for the household. So it's a mixed result, I can say. In summary, you will, you will be able to successfully uh, clear your debts. That's, that's a good point, right? And the cautious thing is that the health, 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 health. Okay, so there may, because of the sixth house, sixth house also deals with uh, diseases and uh, problems in terms of health. You need to be cautious here. Once Jupiter leaves Capricorn and gets into the Aquarius, you will be perfectly all right. Everything becomes a strong Guru Balam for you for next one year. So you are in a very, very safe stage after this. So many of you guys are in state of confusions and things like that. So I'm, I'm just motivating the Leo guys to be very, very happy. Once it is 20th of November, many problems get solved by itself. You know, even those people who are planning to get married in this age group, uh, please uh, look for the suitable bride or bridegroom. And I'm sure that you are going to have a uh, have your soulmate coming into your life. All right. So definitely till then you need to also pray for the people tree or the banyan trees and things like that, especially Thursdays. All right. Anyway, whatever remedies are given here uh, is very simple remedy. There are so many other remedies that we can do by wearing the gemstones and things like that. All right, let's go to the next uh, Rashi. It's Kanya Rashi or the Virgo Ascendant or the Moon sign. Okay, so whenever you have this combination, the transit of Jupiter is happening in the fifth house, Panchamasthanam of children, right? And Purupanisthanam. Now, what is, what is that you can expect during this transit? Jupiter aspects your Bhagyam, which is very, very good. Fifth, fifth house is a trinal house and it aspects the Bhagyasthanam. So, some kind of a benefit is going to be definitely there. Labham is expected, but the benefits are expected. Okay, it also aspects the incoming gains of the 11th house, which is good. Okay, there are two Lakshmi Sthanas which are being activated in this uh, small transit okay and it also sees the um, betterment of health for you guys because jupiter aspects from its ninth aspect on your lagnum directly so but uh, once once it becomes november 20th what happens the jupiter returns back to the sixth house as you have been currently facing some problems okay uh, those domestic problems are going to amplify guys that's that's not a good news after 20th you have to be very very cautious in spending money and make sure that you sh you should not get into more credit cards and things like that financial crunch must be avoided okay so there is a uh, there is some good good things happening in these 65 days but later on you have to become cautious especially do not buy any properties and things like that in this time people can cheat you and you will end up in troubles okay so be avoiding those uh, uncalled expenses if you can avoid the next one is tula rashi or the libra right so people who are born uh, with ascendant sign of libra or the moon sign libra you know that this transit is happening in the fourth house and fourth house transit of Jupiter is is not so good but still it is fine because it's going to aspect your house of work that, that can can make you busy it will give you a lot of jobs and there will be some foreign connections again okay so uh, eighth house aspect is not so good so it can give you mixed results. So I can say that uh, there will be some health issues to your mom. Because fourth house represents your mother. If at all your mother is alive, it's about that. If it is uh, taken as a bigger perspective, there will be some problem in the uh, real estate investments that you might have made. And you are going to see some problems over there, you know. And people who are in abroad with some short-term visas and things like that, they may even plan to return to the native land because fourth house represents the native land. Jupiter is going there. Okay. So once uh, November 20th happens, if we go back to this slide, 
the Jupiter is going to go back here and then you get the Panchami Guru, the fifth house Guru. So please wait for your November 20th for any things that you want to invest and all that. After November 20th, the, the time is really very good for, uh, for Tula Rashi. All right. The next one, let's go to <coughs> Vrishchika Rashi or Scorpio. So for you guys, this transit is happening in the third house of communications. So Jupiter goes to the Nietzsche's Thanam or the uh, Devilitation sign in the third house of communication. There will be something that can go wrong in the way you talk and your people in, if you are in an office atmosphere. The people will mistake you and there will be some miscommunications here and there. And it also aspects the seventh house of partners if you are in business. Your partners will not understand your communication properly because you have lost that signal of Jupiter, Guru Balam, right? So somehow there will be a luck there. The Jupiter sitting in the third house aspects the ninth house, some benefits for your father. If at all your father is alive, he's going to be benefited from you in a way, but not you, <laughs> right? Jupiter doesn't aspect you, the lagnum. And then there is some kind of a benefit um, in subtle way because you have been working very hard uh, and always there is a Rahu Ketu which is there. The nodes of the moon is really troubling the Scorpio people, people born in Scorpio. First of all, they are having the, the original ruler of Scorpio is Pluto and they are the people of transformation. And this nodes Rahu and Ketu from last September uh, it, it's really giving them a, a roller coaster dri drive, you know. So you need to be very cautious. Wait for your Panchami Guru until the Jupiter enters the Pisces. You will not have that Guru Parvai or the Guru Balam. You will have to be extremely cautious. So anyway, uh, this short duration it is also showing that I told you about the small amount of uh, financial gains because it has aspect on 11,000. But Peace of mind is more important for you guys, okay, which is not there at this moment. Okay, make sure that uh, when you are considering um, to buy any property and things like that later on after the 20th of uh, November, you need to be cautious also. Mm -hmm. Your household expenses can become higher and higher. Okay, moving further, let's pick up um, Sagittarius or Dhanas Rashi. Right, people born under the influence of Sagittarius Lagnum or the Ascendant and then the moon sign of Sagittarius. Note this point, Jupiter temporarily is coming back to Capricorn, your Dhanasthanam, so it, our Kutumbasthanam, which is not bad at all. Okay, but unfortunately this is a Nietzsche Guru, right? And it is aspecting the sixth house of uh, troubles and loans and debts, which is, which is good. So a bad planet aspecting the bad house is, is always a Raja Yogam, right? And it also aspects your 8th house of health. And uh, it creates a lot of confusion for you guys in terms of job. You will leave a job, you will join another job, and you will also get confused there. Am I right? Am I in the right place? That doubt always comes to you because the Jupiter, which is in the second house of Nietzsche's Thanam, is aspecting your... Uh, 10,000. So there will be some confusions. All those confusions can be kind of cleared uh, once it is um, after November 20th. Okay, so uh, it's not a very good uh, uh, thing even after the 20th of November because you may get lazier uh, when 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 Jupiter gets into back into Aquarius. Okay, so you need to be very cautious in uh, in your acts, and if at all you are planning to change your job. So be cautious because you are in the last part of Sade Sati or the or the Saturn, seven and a half years of Saturn. So just wait for 2023, then everything will be on your side when Saturn gets into Aquarius. All right. Now, Capricorn. Capricorn is having a good time. <coughs> Sorry. Capricorn is going to have a good time at this moment. Why? Because... Jupiter comes back to their lagnum and it aspects the seventh house of cancer. So seventh house of spouse and communication with the partners are going to be much better. And it aspects the fifth and ninth, which is always, always good. Fifth house and ninth house are called trinal houses. I have told this in my previous videos many times. So this can give good results for 
for Capricorn. I think Capricorn is going to be very much benefited because there is a Nietzsche Bhanga Raj Yoga also. The Saturn, who is the owner of Capricorn, is already stationer uh, is already stationed there, and th there will be some success for the Capricorn people. All right. The next one is Aquarius. For you guys, it is happening in the Vyas Thoram, the twelfth house. So temporarily your expenses are going to go up. Okay, there will be health issues. You may have to get back to your doctor. You have to spend some money on your medical bills. All right, 12th house is all about VIS Thana. And Jupiter gets back to you in a better way after the 20th of November. Uh, those stuck projects in these 60 days or 65 days, uh, you are going to solve it after the 20th of November, and you need to uh, you need to wait further when, when Jupiter really gets into the Guru Balam time when it goes to Pisces. Okay, so I'm not saying that it's bad year for you after 20th of November. One particular year, the Jupiter uh, uh, takes one year for every zodiac sign. Okay, so I can say that in these 65 days, please, please, please take care of your health and any uncalled expenses. Later on, you will be fine. All right. The last one. Let's go to the last part of the discussion in this video. We are talking about Pisces Lagnum or the Mina Lagnum. Okay, the people born in Mina Lagnum or Mina Rashi are going to have this as a wonderful sudden shift in their luck. Okay, all the while the Jupiter was transiting in their 12th house and this comes to them as a small recovery period, alright. So they will, ha they will enjoy this because their communication, students who are going to write their exams and all, they are going to do better because it aspects your 5th house as well. And there will be much more parity with partners, business partners as well as the wife or a spouse. It's going to be much better communication for these days. Many problems can be resolved during the placement of Jupiter in the 11th house from your Lagna or Virashi. All right. So I have um, made it more clear. Later on, there will be some problem for your health because Jupiter comes back to Aquarius and it will be the 12th position for you. All right. So with this, we have come to the end of this video. I have covered all the Rashis. If you have any questions, please type it in the comment section. I would be glad to answer them whenever I have free time. Please, please, please sponsor me through your subscription. Click on the subscribe button, press the bell icon to get the videos, whatever I put on the YouTube, and it will reach to you the first. Okay. So let's continue this journey of astrology. I need your encouragement and subscription. Thank you very much.